här kommer en gammal människa. Okej. Okay. guys? Som ni ser i fan. And today I'm going to teach you how to do a backflip and a frontflip. Today I decided to try something new because I have always been doing scooter tutorials but as you guys know, right now I'm not really feeling scootering so I will uh, try to teach you guys how to do a backflip because a lot of you have said that Oh Henrik, like your backflips are really really good and I do have some uh, really really solid tips that I can give you guys to improve your backflips so If you have never tried a backflip before, I know it's gonna be really scary the first time so my recommendation to you is to uh, try it on a trampoline, that really helps. I did that, I used to have a trampoline in my garden, but unfortunately I jumped on it with like six friends, so it bent a lot. You can try it down in water, that helps really much. I had a friend back who, he just couldn't do it on trampoline, so he learned it down in water. I've never tried a backflip, you gotta be able to jump high, okay? If you can't jump high, there's no way you will be able to do a flip. So the best way to, uh, kind of practice that or even like check how good your jumping strength is is to find a staircase so I'm gonna try to jump to almost like like the thing to almost the highest uh, stair okay but, uh, if you can jump like eight stairs you can do a backflip flat 100% Yeah. <laughs> you obviously do not have to be able to jump that high. But the higher you can jump, the better your flip will be. When you see people do a backflip, they always do something like this. Uh, the trick to a backflip is to put your arms back like this, bend down, explode up, throw your hands back. And when you line like like this in the flip, you're gonna tuck together, okay? That's what's gonna make you uh, come around. Pay close attention to where I tuck, okay? I see. And there are two, two ways you, you can tuck. You can tuck in front, which is uh, more common. And then you can tuck under your leg, which in my opinion works a little bit better because you become more like tight, I guess. See, I come around much faster. Don't, I don't recommend doing them like I normally do. Like, I just like to uh, do it without actually grabbing my knees. I just like to look back and land. Like so. Another really good tip is to do it in a hill because it makes it a lot easier. So if you have done a backflip on a trampoline or a uh, or down in water, this would be the next place I would try it. Because since the hill is angled, it actually makes the flip come around much easier. So I'm gonna show you one right here, okay? Make sure that when you tuck, that you really hold on. As soon as you let go, the rotation will slow down. So if you're gonna attempt a backflip on ground, if you keep holding tight all the time, you will not land on your neck. So I'm gonna do two backflips for you right here. And I will let you guys decide which one is correct. <laughs> all right. I think we all agree that the last one is important. You want to jump straight up, but slightly lean a little bit back. But you don't want to do this. You don't want to jump back like that. If it's your first time trying it, that might happen automatically. But if you're really looking to do a clean backflip, it's super important that you jump straight up, okay? Really hope these tips helped. If they did, make sure you like this video and do comment down below and also subscribe to my channel. Okay, now I'm gonna do front flip. I'll be training for strongman, as you can see. Yeah, look at that back. It's thick. Okay, so we decided to swap places. It was uh, a little boring there. So you can see here, it says pirates live here, so we can't film like behind that sign. Okay, so we're gonna continue the tutorial here. The front flip is a little bit more uncommon than the back flip. 
I've seen very few people performing like a really clean front flip flat. Like most of them look something like this. Okay, that, that was clean. No, but like when they land, they land like this. Like so. And the reason for that is because they don't really get the height. They just jump and like slam everything down on the ground. So I'm gonna show you guys the best way to do a front flip. If you have watched any parkour videos, you might have heard of the Russian style front flip. We basically do this with your arms. So that allows you to get a lot more height and a lot more control of the flip. So I'm gonna show you one right now. You see, a lot more height. So the big key to a Russian flip is timing. So when uh, you're gonna approach the front flip, you wanna jump like this, kinda. So it's called blocking. We basically wanna jump straight up and not just forward and down like you would do in a normal front flip. We come here, we just pull up and tuck on our like hamstrings. So if you want, you can try the conventional front flip first, the one that I did before. But I highly recommend doing the Russian front flip because you get a lot more height, more control, and in my opinion, it's a lot safer for your knees. So uh, try it down in water, try it on trampoline, and then uh, yeah, get on flat. If you can do a side flip, you will uh, have a big advantage because it's the same kind of like block, okay? So I really hope that helps. Right now, I'm gonna do a quick workout. We actually worked out a little bit before we filmed this video, but we're gonna do like some pull-ups, muscle-ups, push-ups. Right, see you guys. Cherry is here in this tree, really good. Oh, it's not. It wasn't meaning. Yeah, fresh fruit. I'm gonna try some muscle-ups on this one here. It's really difficult. Uh, this thing is really sharp, so you see, kind of hurt my hand. Plus here, I weigh around 86 kilos. It's pretty tough. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, I'll get on. See one more. It really hurts my hand. Damn it. It's gonna be my best shower of my life after this work. Dead stop training is the best. So unfortunately, we don't have any bars where I live. Believe it or not, it's actually insane. So we have to do pull-ups on this bridge. So it's still really windy, it's pissing me off. Do you have any great ideas on what I can film to my next video? Please comment down below too. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out. Hi. 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 Hi.